Hey YouTube family, how you doing? It's me, Jordan again, Six Human Malaysian Natural Beauty. And um, I wanted to come in first of all to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone. I hope everybody had a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day. I did. Um, yeah, I really did. I really enjoyed my Mother's Day. I finally <laughs> got a chance to just chill out and relax and enjoy um, enjoy my meal, enjoy my day. Um, my son and my daughter-in-law um, invited me over and even though she's a mother she took this day to honor me and I've I, I'm telling you the food was delicious we had surf and turf we had steak shrimp vegetables garlic mashed potatoes what else do we have macaroni and cheese it was really really good and uh, then we had cake, not not big big pieces of cake, but you know we 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 did okay. We kept dessert to a minimum because we're both um, trying to do better with our weight. Okay, so um, yeah, so that out of the way, I wanted to share something with you guys, which you might not know. Um. April 20, no, not April 22nd, April 7th was my four year lock anniversary. Yeah. So I'm really, really, really pleased to have made it this far and um, into this journey and not um, turn back. Okay, so um, what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to name a few advantages, a few disadvantages, and um, just what I've learned. Um, one of the things that I learned about this journey, or during this journey, was that the patience that it takes to develop these locks, um, even though mine was started with braids, and to maintain them is ongoing. And when I say that, I mean that because um, you guys know I interlock my hair. Um, so with the, with the, um, the interlocking process that I do, it takes me quite a bit of time to do my hair. I have so many locks, as you can see there, I have so many locks, so many, so well over, well over 200 and I'm sure somewhere in the area close to 400 um, but it's okay um, for me when I sit down and I start interlocking my hair it's therapeutic it's um, a time where I get to just really just chill and pamper myself and I feel like make myself look beautiful and and you know just do do me okay so um some of the things that i've learned about um my my this particular set of locks as well as um well i'm just going to stick to this particular set of locks we're not going to look back um like i said one thing i learned is that the patience that it took to develop the locks is the same patience that you need throughout your journey yeah, you you have your locks and they're they're growing. You have a a set um, regimen, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, but I have learned from this set of locks that you really have to take care of your body in order for your locks to continue to thrive now that being said I have not lost any locks thank God I have not lost any locks and I have some some that are thin I'm gonna show you my smallest lock I think my smallest smallest lock I have some small ones and then I have I'll say okay this one right here this might be my smallest lock yeah now I do have one that's kind of big. Um, I'll say this one is kind of thick in comparison to the other ones. 
and you know so let me just get my thoughts together here um recently I noticed that I had not been drinking water the way I should um, I think my body was a little dehydrated um, and that showed in my locks to the point where my locks didn't feel soft which I don't want them too soft you know to where they they're um, like easy to break or anything like that but they weren't soft they felt very dry and almost wiry and I hated that I hated that so um, I had made up in my mind what I was going to do is probably wash my hair every week and um, use um, a deep conditioner every week but then I thought no I'm not going to wash my hair every week I got to be real with myself so what I did I, I ordered some nature's blessing and um, that tends to moisturize my scalp and my locks and condition so I'm gonna do that that will be my regimen for a while okay um, in order to keep my hair nice and clean um, I hadn't washed my hair in like a month I washed it finally yesterday and I used Dawn dishwashing liquid and I did a hot oil treatment with um, coconut oil just coconut oil and I actually use some leave-in conditioner and please don't don't lynch me you guys but I did use the remainder of what I had some shea moisture um, leave-in conditioner so I use that and yeah so my locks feel really good right now they feel healthy right now and I'm I'm loving it and I I interlock the front and I interlocked the back four rows. I still have the middle to do, and I did that today, so uh, I'm going to finish that. Disadvantages, and this disadvantage actually was part of my physiological and my physical condition. When I had that lipoma on my back, which is a huge mass of fat, it's a tumor. It was encapsulated, and it was just it was sitting on a nerve pathway. So when I would, I couldn't do this, you know, not comfortably. Um, so when I would interlock on this side, or you, yeah, on this side particularly, um, I did so maybe. Well, I created like maybe six double-headed dragons. So um, that's something I got to deal with. That's just going to be what I got until who knows until I decide to clip them and make them one lock or unless they grow together and become one lock. So that's it. So that's one of the disadvantages. But that was my own doing. And um, another thing, like I said, the disadvantage of um, not... Um, keeping myself hydrated and taking really good care of my hair and myself. Advantages, of course, we all know the advantages is, well, you get to get up in the morning, keep it moving. After you, of course, shower and make yourself presentable, you don't have to worry about your hair. I love the fact that I do not have to worry about my hair. Um, locks have allowed me to be me. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, um, then maybe you're not as far in the game as I am or you got locks for a different reason. But for me, they allow me to be me. I don't have to worry about uh, what my hair is looking like. I don't have to worry about those superficial things that, you know, got to prep my hair for this. I got to do this and that and the other. For me, and I'm speaking for me, I can't speak for anybody else. That's how I feel about my locks. And I'm I'm really digging the hell out of them. So, um, yeah. Um, what else? Advantages, what I've learned, some disadvantages. Okay, one thing I want to tell you guys, especially if you have inner locks. Um, if you're expecting perfectly cylindrical locks don't when you interlock you're going to get lumpy bumpy 
locks like this. Okay. Now this end part was where it was like um, my uh, the curly cues. Now this part is spongy. This part is very dense. Very dense. So I don't expect a change. I'd be crazy to expect a change in that. There's no way that's going to change. And that having been said, um, that is probably one reason why I will not, I cannot see myself, um, I can't see myself combining my locks anytime soon. I might in the future, I don't know. But right now, no. Um, I want to show you guys how my salt and pepper lock is doing. coming along nicely I love it okay and I want to share a couple of other things I don't usually make 15 minute videos but I have that feature and it's my four year lock anniversary so I'm gonna take advantage of it and I'm gonna do that so I want to show you guys two slouch hats that I made some of you guys know that I crochet something most of you guys don't but um, I do I just don't share everything that I do so, I made this slouch beanie. Yeah. I'm going to show you what it looks like on me. I love it. So, if you guys, you know, oh, my buttons. You know, when you do things like this, when you wear these type of beanies, you can put your hair all the way in. Or you could just rock it like this. So, yeah. So, yeah. I like. I hope you guys like. Then I have another one here. It's a black one. Now I put. I made this one. This was a lot longer and a lot bigger than the other one. And I put buttons here too. But I was thinking about taking the button off and putting this flower on that I made. So I think the flower would actually really make it pop. So. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so let me show you what this one looks like. Now, this would be for someone that has like a lot of locks. Okay. Let me go put this on. Yeah, so that's this one. I think it would look really cute with the flower, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the buttons off and put the flowers on. Okay? How you like that? I think that'd be cool. Okay, so this is something that I do in my spare time. I, I have made a few things. Um, actually, I have a bag full of hats that I made. Um, scarves and stuff like that. And I just thought maybe it's time I start sharing those type of things with you guys. And stop keeping everything such a big secret. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Like I said, um, I do love my locks. I'm very proud of the fact that I have made it four years with these locks. Um, I um, Do I ever think about cutting them? Of course I do. I think we all think about cutting our locks. But I am one of those people that have done it before and regretted it the next day. So I spent several months trying to restart my locks as quickly as possible. Then I just chilled out and let my hair grow for about a year. Then I started them again. You know, so. And when I sat down and I purposely put well over 300 micro braids in my hair I knew I wasn't taking them out so um, and that was the beginning of this wonderful beautiful lock journey anyway um, thank you guys for watching um, God bless you and I will see you on the next video